In this video, I'll show you how to add or import SRT subtitles in Vegas Pro 18. Hi, my name is David, and if you get value from this video, kindly like it and share it with your friends so that we can all learn together. On screen is Vegas Pro 18. Vegas Pro 18 is a versatile, non-linear video editing application that was owned previously by Sony, but now it's owned by Magix. Uh, and uh, mostly you'll see on the internet this application being called Magix Vegas Pro. So that's out of the way. Let's begin. So I already have the video file uh, that I want to add the subtitles to, or if it's a project you're working on, and the SRT subtitle as a separate file. And this is how an SRT subtitle file looks like. So it has a number, time codes. Uh, and uh, the transcript or the subtitle file in here and then a space and then a number time code etc etc so this is uh, already prepared we are not preparing it inside vegas pro 18 so what we're going to do now is we are going to drag our video uh, just drag and drop our video uh, inside here so what it's going to prompt you is do you want to set your project video settings to match this media this media has a different uh, setting. Uh, the project setting is 1920 by 1080, but the video is in 1280 by 720. So I'll just click on yes. Uh, and it's going to change that. And once we do that, our video file is ready. Uh, we can just adjust uh, slightly the audio so that we can see the waveforms down here. So the next thing is to add or import our subtitle. And it's pretty easy. All you need to do is just come to the insert button here just click on that click on insert subtitles from file just click on that and once you click on that navigate to the folder with the subtitles you want to import just click on browse and then we can just go to add import and by default what we have here is that it selects the text files so we can just move this up slightly so that uh, we see the other options available these comma separated values files that is CSV or subrip subtitle files or SRTs. So if I click on SRT, then our SRT file is going to be available. So I'll just click on it and then click on open. Now our preset should remain as subtitle and use current preset as default since this is what we want. And then we can just click on OK. Once we click on OK, uh, our subtitles will be loaded up as Vegas titles and text so each is going to have a different number uh, depending on how many files that you have uh, they are going to be laid out as text events inside here and uh, if you look uh, closely here you'll see all the subtitles available if I click uh, on top of one here you'll notice that it's available here with the recent update on the YouTube interface it's now easy now, I don't like uh, that particular uh, color and I wish that uh, it would be easier to just generally uh, apply a different like background for all the subtitles. Uh, so our subtitles have been imported inside Vegas Pro 18. So we can just go to the start and play to see if they align uh, with our media, but we can still zoom in. And uh, if we just look, we'll notice that it's already aligning because this is ta the subtitles have time codes and this audio uh, obviously it has time codes let's just play with the recent update on the youtube interface it's now easier than before to download youtube transcripts hi my name is david from freelancer insights now if I, we can clearly see that the subtitles come in when they're supposed to come in so this is a good thing if especially uh, you're going to be banning in subtitles with your video uh, one thing I'd like to note is that you can change some of the few settings uh, with the subtitles uh, by checking out uh, the text events of the particular uh, file that you're working on. Let's say we just click on, let's say, uh, generated media, and you'll see a bunch of things here. You can change the color, you can change location. For example, uh, let's just see uh, if we can adjust this, and the subtitle can be adjusted maybe somewhere there. If you wanted to move it out of the way and it was obscuring uh, some text, you can do that. And if you look at the other subtitle, it's going to be down here. And if you want to do 
uh, the uh, editing for the location, you can do that. Uh, what I found quite difficult when working with this is adjusting uh, the background. Uh, if you decide to adjust the background, let's say to a different color, let's say for a particular event, let's say uh, this event, let's say this is what we're working on. Trying to adjust that to a different color. Let's move this. It potentially seems like uh, nothing uh, works or nothing happens. You can just adjust that. It just works for the media below it. And uh, if I just click here, you'll notice that the media below this particular subtitle is what changes. So we can just do Control Z to just remove uh, that particular edit that we made. Uh, so I'll still tinker around with it to know how this works and how uh, somebody can use it to the advantage when editing uh, subtitles before burning in. Because having uh, this particular white uh, on, uh, let's say, a white surface, then doesn't really give us a good look for subtitles. So that's how you add or import subtitles in Vegas Pro 18. Now, if you want to produce your video with the subtitles, all you need to do is just come to File, Render As, and then it's going to give you the different options that you want to render. Let's say you want to render, let's say this is a video that is in 1280. Uh, let's say we go with this uh, 720, uh, yeah, 720, 25 frames per second. And then let's say we call it uh with subs it's going to the documents folder uh, and then if you're satisfied with this uh, then all you need to do is just click on render let's just do that depending on uh, the resources of your computer the length of your video and uh, the different options available then this may take a long or a short time uh, really depends on what you have going on uh, with your computer. So let's see uh, what we're going to get. Once this is done, it's going to be in about a minute or so, it's going to be done. But uh, as we can still see uh, with the live preview back here, you can notice that it's very difficult to see uh, the subtitles. Maybe somebody can apply a, sh uh, a shadow on this so that they can be uh, visible once they are banned in the video. Uh, that might make some more sense when working with this type of content. So. Our video is almost done uh, rendering uh, so it's pretty fast pretty easy uh, to add uh, subtitles these are ready-made SRT subtitles to your video and then once you're done render the video with the subtitles uh, as band in subtitles in Vegas Pro 18 I wish that they work on the subtitling interface that's one of uh, one of the sections the field in improving this particular application. Sony did not improve it and Magix have, have not yet improved this particular application. Now our video is done rendering so we can just click on open. I to just open the video. With the reason now you can see the subtitles uh, are back here. Uh, there's some like shadow on this but it's still not very legible against the black background. Update on the YouTube interface. It's now easier than before to download you so you can see while we positioned uh, the subtitle up here, it adheres to that. I wish it were possible to customize like the background to have like a black transparent background for all the subtitles. Then that would make more sense. Tube transcripts. Hi, my name is David. And then we come back here. So basically, that's a step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to add or import SRT subtitles and ban them to the video in Vegas Pro 18. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was valuable to you. And if it was, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you for watching this video.